Hey, what's up guys, welcome to the Training Reviews. So I've got this new product, it's a HDMI wireless video transmitter by a company called Hollyland. Now if you're familiar with Hollyland, you must have been aware of their Mars product range in the past. This one is a brand new one called the Mars X. And today I'm going to be giving you a unboxing, showcase how to set this up and the different functionalities with this tiny little device. And give you an example of how it works. So let's go ahead and do that and uh, let me know what you guys think. Right, so if we take a look inside, you can see here is the Mars X device, very compact. Now, just before I go into that, let's see what else is in the box. So you have yourself a nice Hollyland carry case, a USB-C charging cable, and a cold shoe mount as well to put this on top of your camera, as well as a user manual there inside just to get you up and running. So let's go ahead and set this up. Okay, so let's take a look at the device. So it's very compact, as you can see, it fits into the palm of my hands. So on the top, you have two antennas that you can independently point in different directions to get the best signal. On one side, you have the USB-C charging port and the power on button and the button that cycles between the different frequency channels. On the other side, you have a full-sized HDMI in port, so you can connect this to your camera and a micro USB port as well. Along the bottom, you have a quarter inch screw hole as well as the one at the end there as well. If you wanted to connect this maybe to one of your rigs or a tripod or whatever it may be, then you can do that. So this comes with a cold shoe mount as well. So I'm going to screw this into the bottom so I can put this on top of my camera. So you can see there's an OLED display here. Now on this display, it will show up to four different things. You can see the battery life right there. If I press the channel button on the left, you'll be able to cycle through the different channels. And with these antennas, there are eight different frequency channels in case you get interference in any of them. So you can cycle through that. You can also check the video format once this is connected, and this can also display you the Wi-Fi password, which by the default one is 12345678. Now in terms of the battery, as you can see, it's flashing is pretty low. This does have a built-in 1300 milliamp hour lithium battery, which gives you roughly around one hour of battery life, which is not the longest, but the best thing about it is that if you do have this connected to your camera, then you can also charge this whilst it's still in use. So that's a very convenient thing to have, even though one hour is quite low. So let's go ahead and set this up and showcase to you guys how it works. All right guys, there's only three quick steps to get this up and running and set up with your camera. So the first thing is to utilize this to your camera, you should get a HDMI cable here. So I'm gonna use my HDMI to micro HDMI for my Sony a7 III. Do that. Second step is to download the app and I'm gonna be using this on my iPad Pro. And then go into your Wi-Fi settings and look for the Wi-Fi that begins with HLAD, which stands for Hollyland. Once you've done that, use the default password and you're connected, you'll be able to see your video stream. So here's an example of it connected already with my camera. And here's an example of me just waving in front of the camera as well and showcasing you guys how smooth and how quick the latency difference is. So this is roughly around 70 milliseconds, which they specify if you have a very strong signal. It can be a little bit slower than that if you are outdoors in very remote areas, but nonetheless, it seems to be doing an excellent job and there's not too much latency in that regard. Now, if you do go into the app, there's plenty of pro monitor features that you can use to enhance the transmission. So you can check the waveform, change the focus, you can magnify, change the colors or the monocolor displays and add some LUTs or whatever it may be. So plenty of options in there. So what I'm gonna do is now showcase to you guys the actual range on this, which is 300 feet. So I went on a little hike the other day and I took this out into the park in an open field. And here's a video of me showcasing how far the distance can go using my iPad Pro. Okay guys, so I'm out in an open field. I'm gonna take the Mars X and connect it to my Sony a7 III. So I've got it connected to the HDMI. Now if I come to the camera, you just connect to the other end into the micro HDMI port here. And then all you have to do is flip out the antenna and then you just power it on here. So I'm just gonna turn it on. As you can see, it's now powered on there. So normally you just have it sit on top, whichever way you want, so maybe like this. And then all I have to do is turn the camera on and put it on to video recording mode, like so. So then it will be ready to go. Now the last step is connect your phone or your tablet. So I'm using my iPad. I've opened up the Hollyview app. You should now see the live view. So I'm now gonna test this and see how far back I can go. And obviously you need to make sure the antenna is got a good signal so there's not so much lag. So let me go ahead and do that. 
I'm just going to keep going backwards as much as I can. I know it's a bit sunny and it's reflecting on the iPad. The camera is over there with my friends. Getting close to about 100 meters now. Okay, let me see how far I am. Can you see them back there? Let me zoom in for you. There they are. And as you can see, reconnecting and lost connection. So I'm about 100 meters away, as you can see. That was a very good distance and I'm pretty happy with that. So that was a very good test. And, and this is something I'll definitely be using, especially in closer proximity for my wireless video transmissions when I'm doing filming. So a big thumbs up from me. All right guys, so that was it. Now this comes in at 179 pounds on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can purchase that. And I'll also leave a link to the official website if you wanna check out more details on this. It's so compact, it's so convenient to take with you anywhere. It can even fit in your pocket. It's not gonna take up any of your space in your backpack or your camera bag or anything like that. And it's just a very good companion to have, especially if you do a lot of filming and a lot of photography in general and you wanna see your video at distance. If you specifically do a lot of shooting by yourself and you don't have any camera person behind the camera to help you up, this is very ideal. You just have your phone, your tablet, whatever it may be near you. And if you are at a distance, maybe even you're recording YouTube videos and you wanna see the quality coming through, set it up very close to you. The camera could be further away. You change the zoom levels, whatever it may be. It's so useful for that. This is a lot cheaper than the other Mars products that are in the Holy Land range. So it's an absolute bargain. Of course, the only downside is the very low battery life. Just make sure you have an external battery power if you wanted to use this for longer than an hour, but always try to keep it fully charged before you start using it. I'm very happy. This is gonna go straight into my camera bag. And if there's anything else you guys wanna know about it, as usual, drop a comment down below. Otherwise, I hope you like this video. I hope you subscribe. I've got tons more really cool videos coming out, especially with gadgets like this and for camera equipment. So make sure you subscribe so you won't miss those ones. And I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.